Western District Health Service is a regional health service with approximately 850 staff across four sites. Their journey in implementing Healthy Choices has been driven by a focus on preventative health measures to support the overall health of their community. We decided that we needed to make a strong position to our local community and also Australia as well and we became the first hospital in Australia to remove sugary drinks from sale in 2015. It really does require the whole organisation to be on board. You need to have your board of directors thinking strategically about the implications of those decisions. You need to know that your executive is going to be behind the chief executive when you go out into the community to promote this message. And importantly, you need to have staff and department heads within an organisation also understanding, not necessarily agreeing with, but certainly understanding the importance of the decision that is being made by the organisation. I think the, the key step is, is to get support. Uh, and I think it's evident three years on that um, there's just a, a lot of resources out there. And his resources such as the Food Checker, really uh, important tool for our staff to, to utilise. Um, recommended to all, all uh, people making the Healthy Choice Change to use that, that tool. What it does is um, it teaches our staff how to make a, a recipe healthier. So uh, by reducing salt, reducing sugar, reducing fats. Um, that was a, a key tool in the, in the process. So you always got to, uh, I guess, approach food service staff. They're really creative, innovative people. Uh, I think if you give them that, that opportunity to, to be involved in the project, that's a really important part. In the time that we've implemented these changes, we've seen at times 30% growth in our revenue. And over the longer term, it's been around about 10% growth um, for the changes that we've made. When we first removed sugary drinks from sale, um, we saw that product substitution largely occurred. So people went from drinking sugary drinks to drinking water. And isn't it amazing where the expected uh, response doesn't actually occur in reality? Ultimately, the proof is in the pudding, as they say, and WDHS has had a wonderful response from both staff and our customers, our visitors, to our healthy menu options. Uh, we've seen an increase in sales, we've seen an increase in staff satisfaction in the quality of the meals that we're providing to not only our staff, but also the wider community. And we know that the changes that we introduce will have trickle-on effects not only to our organisation but into people's homes and into the way people see food and view food into the future. And that's a really important step for a public hospital to make. Because as an organisation, ultimately, we want to facilitate change that is going to have long-lasting effects for the community that we serve. 